I am very inspired by the vision uh, my dad had and that's sort of the path I want to follow. Uh, when we approach a film, right, we have no idea about what the audience personally feels towards Chaitanya and Samantha. After we got married and all, if we do another film, it has to be in a space that we've not explored before. Hello, Chai Sam, as you're known. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Film Companion. Thank you so much. So from the trailer, Majli looks like, among the relationship dramas that we've seen so far, it looks like it's in a slightly darker zone. Mm. Is that impression right? I won't say darker, probably in a more mature zone, I, just to put it right. We've done Emai Chesave, like see, seeing each other for the first time, falling right. in love. Then right. we did Autonaga Surya and then we did Manam. So we thought if ever we do another love story, it has to be, you know, something that we've not explored before, you know, and uh, Majli's... Nobody's going to believe us again seeing each other for the first time yeah, and yeah, falling, falling in, in love. love. Yeah, That's not yeah, going to happen. Yeah. So yeah, I won't say darker, but in the mo in a more mature zone from what we've done uh, previously. Apart from that, what's different about this this love story or this relationship drama? It uh, explores the world of you know a couple that's been married for two years, something that we don't see usually at all in uh, you know Telugu cinema. No one's exploring this uh, zone, so that's that's definitely you know very fresh for the audience. Uh, apart from that, there are a lot of other layers attached. You know, well, I can't um, talk about you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what attracted me towards this film was after I got married, right? And um, I found that love is so different, and um, that responsibility is love, and that you're no longer two people, and it's about you're not like trying to impress the other person, but you're really functioning as one. Honestly, it's a it's like the other person's failures are your failures, the other person's success is your success, the other person's happiness is your happiness. It's no longer two individuals like before marriage. It's young love and there's an adrenaline rush. You're still trying to impress the other person. You're still kind of seeking for acceptance from the other person. You, you know, it, it's still two people. And I found this place that I felt so secure and so calm. And I was like, oh my God, why isn't anybody telling this story? Uh, why isn't anybody talking about the love after marriage and what it really means between a husband and wife? And, and I'm so happy at that point of time that a director like Shiva explains this so amazingly. You know, uh, So I think that's what drew me to this story. And I think that a lot of people can different stay at, at different stages of their lives can relate to this film, I think that's the biggest USP of this film. And yeah, and, and more than that, I, I feel it was very honest, very real, you know. Usually we get carried away making films, at some point we feel, okay, there's not enough entertainment, let's yeah. just add some entertainment, mm -hmm. there's not enough action, let's put in some action, or you know, let's, like let's, yeah, right? let's do mm -hmm. something, you know, to make this a bigger span or whatever, but this is not one of those films, it's, it's very honest, it's very true you know, no gimmicks or any of those, uh, any of that kind of stuff attached. So I think that that's something, you know, I really enjoyed uh, uh, being a part of, you know, and just being honest, being real and sticking yeah, to the soul. Yeah, felt like yeah. Uh, natural, like, you know, sometimes when there's a scene and you're like, oh, you know, it's not necessary for the story or it's not taking the story anywhere. So how, you know, you have to like bring the actor. But here it was really honestly about dif about Poorna and Shravani. And, you know, it was about characters. Um, and it was the first time in a love story, so many points of views are being brought. And like, you know, my father, his father. You know, in a relationship, it's n especially uh, uh, in marriage, it's no longer just about the husband and wife. It's about other people as well. You know, it's about in-laws and it's... Um, so it's very organically told, uh, different people's points of views uh, in this story. So I, I really like that as well about it. So this film is coming out five years since you two were together in Autonagar Surya. That was the Manam, last time. But we had no, Manam. that was also in 2014, mm. the, both of them. Right. Did you sense any change in each other as professionals uh, on the sets? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I think know. we both have uh, grown as actors and, you know, in this five-year period, we've seen a lot, you know, personally, professionally, and you tend to evolve as a person. I mean, right. we're uh, always picking up from our past, learning from mistakes, uh, success changes us, failure changes us, but 
you know, we're always evolving. So yeah, I think as individuals, uh, mm -hmm. I I notice a lot of uh, difference in her. Like, can you <laughs> say something? <laughs> <laughs> You know, back then we 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 talk about it so much, like uh, AMI, Chase Heavy, and all that. When we were doing those films, we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> you know, we, we looking back, they didn't tell. You know, we heard the script, but we had no idea about judgment, about the seriousness. You know, of uh, cinema. Okay, all we knew is working with A.R. Rahman, Gautam, and sir. You know that. We, we're very new to all this, but now I think we understand, at least I understand the seriousness of... Uh, what it means approaching a character. Yeah, you know, the whole approach to your profession, you know, the kind of responsibility and how much cinema influences people, you know, how much a good script uh, can influence people. Uh, you know, I think this is what I've learned a lot in the last five years. Can you tell us one thing about him that, that yeah. is, you came, but coming back to the sets <laughs> with him, Mm. Something that you noted, wow, he's doing this very differently. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, the other day I was telling him I was watching Autonogar Surya and I was, oh my God, this is a completely different person who I'm working with now in um, in, in Majli. Uh, you know, he's evolved so much uh, because I know Che off screen. I've, I've always harbored this kind of, that his off screen personality is, is it was well, his personality that I fell in love with, and I've always had this. You know, it it doesn't translate completely on screen, and I've always wondered why. And I was always, always the, the, that used to really uh, annoy me that you know who Che is as a person doesn't it hasn't has never been translated fully on screen, and and off late in the last one year or so, you know, with Premam and with Rarondoy and, and now with completely with Majali. I see the Che that I know and I see that calm <laughs> and really composed and you know that, that there's a goodness in his eyes that translates on screen now and yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. I think it just needed some time. <laughs> <laughs> the second question is about the personal aspect. The audience already knows that, that you're married and you know, you're together and all that kind of stuff. Was that playing on your minds that because we're playing these characters on screen, that automatic assumption of the audience should not affect the way they perceive our characters on screen? Is that something that... It is a fear, but we will never ever know exactly what right. the audience feel about us. I wish we did, otherwise right. we would be making the exact films that they wanted. Right. But right. No, because there is some conflict here, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. Uh, when we approach a film, right, we have no idea about what what the audience personally feels towards Chaitanya and Samantha. They don't, I don't, we don't, we can't assume that. Right. When we accept a story, we, we love the story, we love the director and we can be honest to the role, but we cannot calculate exactly that percentage of the thought process of the audience who's sitting and watching and what he wants from Chaitanya and Samantha. Like from Purna and Shravani we will deliver, right. but we don't know exactly that calculation. No, I was that asking if that's, that was, play, yes, that was it, on it, your it mind. Yes, it is. It, it yeah, is yeah, I mean, it was always playing, but at least I was conscious about is after, you know, we got married and all, mm -hmm. if we do another film, it has to be in a space that we've not explored before, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so that was, like she said, you know, we never know exactly uh, what they think about us, but at least let's do s this much. Yeah. So, you know, we're sort of safe at least 50% of the way. And 100% we didn't sign this film banking on Che Sam. <laughs> it mm. was absolutely not in consideration about how we work now as a couple, that dynamics. It was not the intention to uh, cash in on the dynamics of us now that has changed, but it was absolute 100% honesty to the script and to the director's vision and you know we believed that yes for this movie some I, I work I believe that I can do something and he believes that he can do something it's not about the combination what is the difference between working with a co-star and working with a co-star who's a spouse <laughs> uh, is that is there is it like on the sets are you like uh, if you sense that maybe she w she wasn't doing something that if you sense that maybe he could like to push a little further would you take the liberty to say yeah, that or would you just say oh you know it's the director's job and he didn't but we yeah, had that situation I, yeah, we had that situation so where yeah. I I'm like mommy and I'm like I want to <laughs> control <laughs> everything, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah. it took me a little while to like no <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, from his side, he's... Yeah, for me, like, on sets, I think 
director is the captain yeah. you know and we should leave it to him because somewhere we look at each other with a different perspective you know and when a director is looking at us uh, when an outside person is looking at us there's it's a whole different vision so i think he should be the one judging even though we're we know each other so much and like we're so close with each other but i think that third person is what can create a ma- uh, you know the magic so i didn't see the line he saw the line <laughs> <laughs> in terms of preparation again uh was there some kind of joint preparation because usually you know you do your movie and he do his movie <laughs> but here at home would you say okay these are the notes let's compare i think only the climax we discuss yeah the climax we discuss but we had a few uh, script uh, narrations together and you know uh, before we locked the script uh, you know sam and i we we spent some time with the director but I think once we went to set no we just in front of the camera that's when I got to know what she was doing or you know yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. that's when I get to know and what I'm doing as well so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so not, no no much of homework so no rehearsal at all no no yeah, no we would talk a lot about the script you know we would probably talk about that day scene or mm-hmm. how it went or you know uh, discuss a lot but never uh, never rehearse lines or anything like okay. that you said in an interview that that brand akineni is synonymous with romance <laughs> uh does that prevent you from considering roles like let's say the ones in Arjun Reddy or RX100 or something like that no no i think brand akineni and <laughs> romance is not something that i have looked at it that way but you know somewhere the fan fan base that my grandfather and father have created or you know generally the general public has always sort of influenced me with that saying yeah okay you're doing a love story fine you know it, it's it's going to be good <laughs> you know you'll suit it so somewhere growing up you know this whole thing is uh, we've been conditioned by it but no i i can't just keep doing love stories or anything uh, you know all my life people get bored of me so rx100 arjun reddy is i want to i want to attempt these uh, kind I of films i think in a way actually for um, you know when brand akinini is so much to think about you know so i uh, see for me I, when I, i come as a nobody and i have only myself to answer to and i can take these risks and i can not m- care about anybody or any what the fans say or what the family says or what you know it's, it, it describes actually our relationship is very um you can you can see you know i may have made my decisions for myself always but for him it everything has to you know uh, be double checked and triple checked and uh, so along the way it's it's very difficult to try to please so many people uh, and I, i think the decisions have stemmed differently for the both of us but is that really how it works it does it that do people like when you choose a role do you always have to think i'm responsible for this brand or is it just like i want to do this role yes the responsibility as yes, the mix is there you know fortunately for me my father <coughs> does not you know uh, interfere too much like he always says take your own decision uh if you have a doubt or something you know check we're always there for you but i want you to figure it out if you fall it's okay fall but you know figure it out for yourself uh, that's what gave me my strength back then and that's what will give you your strength but yes that responsibility you know it's always there because everywhere you go you, you know you open social media you know <laughs> it's like uh, you know there's so many people you know yeah so many people who loved your granddad who, who love your dad now love you too and want to see you mm-hmm. and they have a vision for you and yeah. they have all these comments they've already marked out your yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like yeah. at this point of time you have to be this kind of tyrant yeah, yeah. this and this <laughs> so yeah that responsibility is there and i don't want to let them down too you know whatever said and done like i'm i'm lucky to have them right. you know behind me and support me uh, so i i it is it, the, the responsibility is like 50% of my uh, decision everything is a double edged sword <laughs> when he's always on walking on pins <laughs> but eventually you know i think if we have the strength to do what we truly believe in you know it'll automatically reflect it'll reflect success and they success will automatically make them happy so i think somewhere it's all you know uh, interlinked so as generations change yeah. and as we get newer audiences who are probably not as familiar with your granddad's work right. but probably more with your father right right because your father's choices are a little more eclectic than your grandfather's yes, yes. simply because of the yes, times that yes, he worked yeah. in do you think that the freedom will also like increase 
gradually as absolutely uh, you know, with a newer generation accepting films that come today absolutely just you know just like you said there's a whole bunch of you know new uh, viewers today and the exposure is very different today you know you got digital there's right. so much content on digital and a variety of content you know there's no boundary anymore for the kind of content that's out there so we have to adapt with the yeah. times you know minds are changing of the audience and sensibilities are changing wave of yeah. new age superstars whether yeah. it's bollywood whether it's vicky kaushal whether it's vijay devarkonda whether there's a whole new age of you know non pedigree <laughs> and it's purely and they're only identified and they're who they are today because of the kind of content they've chosen right. you know because they've chosen a fresh script something that no one's done before broken some boundaries and you know that's why they've gotten there right. so i think it's very important you know to you know think ahead and also you know try and capture this whole new set of audience also you know you said something very interesting about pedigree and i'm picking up a question <laughs> on that you know the the word nepotism comes up a lot in hindi cinema yeah, <laughs> but it exists in telugu cinema tamil Absolutely. cinema like like you know ever but somehow the media the here doesn't term. seem to be Talking I think the media it, here is extremely forgiving compared to uh, the media. Nah, be. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so nepotism does exist very, very rampant. Uh, I'm sorry, but for whoever says it doesn't, <laughs> it surely does. <laughs> And um, but it's fine. See whether it's the star kids or the non-star kids. Or, like I said, I I've been no risk, uh, nobody to answer to. When I fall, only my parents know uh, that I fell. But <laughs> when the star kids come and they fall initially it's like it's as if they've disappointed an entire <laughs> <laughs> yeah entire state you know so it's uh, both has its uh, ups and downs and benefits and uh, so i think that it, nobody has it easy basically in this industry <laughs> yeah especially today you know there's so much talent around you if if you don't do something right someone else is beating you you know so it's it and yeah, it's also yeah. you know there's a way for the underdog also yeah, yeah. you know so we just spoke about your father i want to ask both of you what is your favorite nagarjuna film uh, mine will always be shiva okay. yeah mine i was yeah Sethri? for sure yeah 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 for me it'll always be shiva and yeah. geetanjali yeah. yeah and i grew up uh, watching ninne pelatta a lot mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah that's another film i really enjoy Yeah, Now speaking of your grandfather yeah. in that small role in Mahanati, that was a remarkable piece of casting because right. you look so much like him, <laughs> and that that same you know that yeah. lovely face, the gentle eyes. I was like, hmm. that that was one role on in that movie where the physical resemblance was actually like quite spot on. Okay. So I was wondering when you did that role, right. uh, and you saw yourself after hmm. your makeup and you saw yourself right. in the mirror. <laughs> did that become more than just a role? Was there? Did you feel more emotional in that at uh, that moment than you did in in your other roles? I think the fact that they asked me to play that role itself, you know, was uh, emotional enough for me. I was, I refused to do it in the beginning because it was just, you know, there's there's no way. I think the pressure was just too much. But then, you know, yeah, I, Sam, my dad, yes. you know, a lot of people have always pointed out a lot of similarities, mm -hmm. you know, in uh, in some pictures, you know, the, with me and my granddad. But I, I asked my dad, and he was like, "Listen, do it. It's I, a brilliant I, I, opportunity." I even I was like, "Yeah, please do it." Because and if I, you don't do it, someone else is going to do yeah, it. Yeah. Like you, ca you can never sleep, you know, if you know yeah. someone else did did that role, you know. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it was magical. It was. Uh, more than that everyone around me because the producer of that film ashwini dattgar who he had worked with my granddad also so he's seen him very closely so i put on my makeup you know came out of the caravan and all that and he was like you know this is how <laughs> the view is so it's so similar and all that yeah it was it was emotional this again since most of the heroes in this industry are kind of related to each other yeah <laughs> <laughs> which you're yep. laughing at the same right <laughs> uh, so there's obviously let's take you and let's hear another book right. right it's there's obviously you know when somebody does well mm. i'm not talking about rana <coughs> but generally say, yeah. when somebody does well there's obviously oh lovely my cousin or my yeah. uncle or whatever has yeah. this big hit but you know traditionally is there also a, a sense of competition when this happens because you know typically i'm not talking about it in a negative sense but you know when typically when let's say two of my your films are not doing well right. and let's say three of their films it's it happens everywhere whether they're they related yeah. to you or not related yeah. to you yeah. and sometimes that does play on right. you know something how does it work when 
all these people are in a way either related or close friends or mm -hmm. something like that. It's definitely competition. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we're not like, oh, I'm so happy for him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I love you, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's not true. He's least bothered. He has no idea when other people's films are releasing. It's like, have you seen that teaser? Oh, it released. Okay, like, so I've learned so much from him. Like I said, remember initially it was all about who's doing what, how many films am I doing, how many films are releasing, which film is a blockbuster. Chaitanya's influence over me has mainly been the fact that he, other people do not affect his <laughs> life. <laughs> That's not true. No, it, it's probably true to a large extent, but you know, if I see something, that's really nice okay. okay and awesome I I definitely no, feel saying jealous in the, inside in the, saying in you know shit why why wasn't I able to do it you know <laughs> why didn't I get it that, that pinch is there whoever it is you're absolutely right your brother or your cousin or you know your best friend you we are all humans and we we always we want to win you know that's there within us but it's how much it affects us yeah, right. is yeah. you know it's you can't live your life based on other people's right. Uh, right, successes right, right. right yeah they can positively influ influence you like how i like uh, i said that about alia and you know the, the kind of work it's aspirational uh, but not like where it becomes where it seeps into you as negativity mm, that's yeah. That's yeah, what I'm talking absolutely. about, which does exist, you know, in this industry, and it does exist. And in that way, Chaitanya has had a very, very, very positive influence over me to the fact that I love when now when you know when other people are so because it's 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 very simple. It's it, that's a job. This is your life. You know, you don't compare your life as being uh, inadequate. Uh, it's not your life that is inadequate. And that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Uh, the, that as a career, yes, maybe you know it's all competitive, and but it shouldn't seep into your life. It's simple. Keep it healthy. You know, mm -hmm. just take the positive, and you know it'll be healthy. It'll be fine. You can grow. You can learn. But like, if you cross that line, you know, and it just gets bitter. It gets negative. I think it sort of eats you up inside yeah, eventually. You know, so yeah. and this is such a visible industry. That's Absolutely. So problem. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, Let's say you know two doctors had competition. Right. Yeah, it would be exactly. Views, yeah. Whereas yeah. two actors, you right. know, it just becomes right. And and it goes beyond the actors. You know, it's fans who are fighting yeah. with each yeah. other. You know, the war is it, it just grows bigger and bigger. You know, so it's sad in a way. You know, I I, I wish we could all enjoy everyone's success yeah, honestly, but. Yeah, it's it's the world we're in, and yeah, we need to try and keep it together. Yeah. Every few years in the Telugu industry, something, and and more recently, uh, we've seen a lot more of these different films, uh, like Arjun Reddy, right. uh, Care of Kanchana, right, Bhattu, right, right, Blas, right, so right, right, which was like all these films come out, and you know, people say, oh, the Telugu industry is changing. Uh, do you feel that that these are one-offs, or is it really changing? In which case it may also be possible for you to explore very different things than what you were doing, let's say, even five years ago. Mm. Or, um, like, even for you. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. It is changing. Yeah, it is like, changing. the frequency is increasing. Right. Maybe they existed before as well, but the frequency was very, 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 very uh, far. And there's the one-off film that comes, you know, once in three years. But now the frequency is more. You just find every two months there's this wonderful little film that is garnering a lot of attention especially last year last year was like a boom for yeah. us and in so many ways so um, expecting a lot from this year as well and uh, i think um, the telugu audience have become very very open and accepting there's a um, what do you say the fall of nepotism <laughs> happening and you know there's a more a lot of new content small films new people new directors new um, actors uh, you know it's a, it's a wonderful time actually no, it is changing because I remember when I got into this industry, producers or directors would tell me, you know, you need to have four songs, mm -hmm. five songs, mm -hmm. this much action, you know, a comedy track, you know, the hero needs to be this <coughs> energetic and all, you know, there were these formulas, there were these calculations, but last two, three years, it's, it's completely changed and, and in fact, if you give them one of those typical, you know, template kind of films, yeah, they're just throwing it back at yeah. you. And it's becoming so much more obvious, yeah. you know, and the films made with a compact budget with, you know, a unique idea are becoming the big films. And the big films, you know, they're spending a lot of money not working at all. You know, 
and uh, blockbusters as in that's the success metric but yeah. i think the age of the the big lavishly mounted uh, because we just saw bahubali right. like, that's Salam like also. Un, unprecedented right, success right 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 which is and uh, and that's not really i mean it was fantastically made film but it's still following a certain model that existed earlier yes, yes. but the content in that model was very different right. you know the, even rangasthalam um, it was following a template that we have seen before but it was a pre- presented in a different. very honest so that uh, makes it different. yeah, yeah and the, the characterization and all that like charan's characterization yeah, is all so unique so you know even though if the directors are following a certain template but the content you know yeah. if you look deep inside is so like new I, i think the perfect blockbuster is you know where they sort of blend the the the, yeah, the commercial template with some you know I, new age writing i commercial i mean universal yeah, you know it's yeah. about um everybody should understand what you're trying to say and that's so difficult these days right. you know we have a certain sensibility and we assume that um the person in the front row should have that same sensibility and that same likes and dislikes but it's not possible right. so it's about catering and understanding being more empathetic i think is is the right uh, direction to be more empathetic about different kinds of people and what they like and what they enjoy watching so my last question to you is all those years back in your first film together when you did ye my ashe save uh vinay tandavarvaya had a the tamil version right. had a uh, what was called a sad ending right. not like right. a bit of sweet kind right, of right 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 but the but the tell was changed, had a different uh, ending yeah to tell yeah. where you know the characters united and yes, you know yes, happily ever yes, after and all yes. that so today if it was made would it be possible to retain that ending you, you think the tamil ending yeah I no i was going to the tell so, yeah. yeah yeah, yeah because even last year we had arjun ready that you know that was should we go with the sad ending but they chose the happy ending i <laughs> think it's really yeah no i think somewhere our audience you know their yes. sentiment is whatever happens in the film at the end <laughs> we want to walk out happy you know <laughs> yeah so i think that's something telugu audience love and yeah it's nice there's nothing wrong about that you know yeah. we're all happy people they want to see happy endings <laughs> yeah. and it's, yeah. it's nice no i would still stick with the telugu yeah, ending to answer okay. your question yeah so i hope they walk out happy people after majli absolutely yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You so thank you so much thank you so much thank you it was thank lovely you. talking yeah. to you